Miss Stahl, now that you're breathing more comfortably, I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about your smoking. It says here that you smoke a pack of cigarettes a day? Yes, I do. I, I know I need to quit. Uh, this is the second time in two weeks I've been in the emergency room. Uh, my breathing's just been so bad lately. Yeah, your latest lung function test shows that even though you're 44, you have the lungs of an 80-year-old. Your lung volume, that's the amount of air your lungs can hold, is about half of what it should be, and that's restricting your breathing. Most of this can be attributed directly to your smoking. I know, I know, and that's why I've been cutting down recently. I had been smoking about two packs a day, but now I've cut that in half. That's good progress, but there isn't any safe level of smoking, especially given your emphysema. You're going to have more and more trouble breathing, and we'll probably have to start going on a mobile oxygen unit. The only really safe thing for you to do is to quit smoking completely. Have you given any thought to doing that? I want to, but my husband smokes and he won't quit. I know what I'm asking you to do is difficult, but it really is imperative that you quit. Even with someone else in the house who smokes, people are able to quit with some careful planning. Listen, we have a service here at the hospital run by nurses who are specially trained to help people to quit smoking. They do everything over the phone. I'd like to have one of our nurses call you in the next few days and set up a plan for you to quit smoking, even if your husband doesn't. I'm not really sure that that can work, but I'd certainly talk to someone. Great. Let me have you sign this referral form and we'll send it off to the nurse. I'm also going to let your pulmonologist know that we are referring you to this quitting program. Oh, she'll be glad to hear that. She's been trying to get me to quit for longer than I'd like to admit. 